Hi, this is a spotlight video for our NIPS 2016 paper about pruning random forest. My name is Feng Nan. You don't want to miss our paper if you answer yes to any of these questions. Do you love random forest? Answer yes. You should read our paper. So you are into machine learning. Do you want to save money, time for the same prediction accuracy? Answer yes. You should read our paper because it's all about saving cost while maintaining prediction accuracy. Do you enjoy solving problems with cool math? Answer yes. And you should read our paper. We've got some cool stuff like integer programs, LP relaxations, total unit modular properties. Finally, do you enjoy solving large scale problems by massively parallel computing? Answer yes. So you should read our paper to see how we decompose the pruning problem into parallel shortest path problems and do primal dual updates. So what is prediction on a budget? Here we have a feature vector. Each feature in the vector is associated with an acquisition cost. The goal is to come up with a decision rule that based on the features that one has seen about an example, what is the next feature to acquire or whether one can stop and classify the example. Intuitively, the rule would adaptively select cheap yet informative features and it needs to exploit hidden relations among the features. A random forest is a collection of decision trees. Each internal node of a tree corresponds to a particular feature. An example is routed to the left or right based on its feature value at each internal node. During the test time, we run the test example through all the trees and take majority vote. I've colored a path that example X follows in each of the decision trees. The different colors of the internal node corresponds to different features. So the total cost for the example X is the sum of cost of the yellow, green, purple, and red features that it needs to acquire along the path. Notice some features are used more than once, but the acquisition cost is incurred only once, as its value can be saved in memory for repeated use. So the goal is to prune the random forest to reduce cost while maintaining low error. For example, if the red feature is very expensive, we can prune the red nodes away and incur some error. We can also prune away the blue node as it appears only once and probably won't affect the majority vote. We don't want to prune this yellow node because the yellow feature is used anyway at the root, so pruning it won't help reduce the cost. These are just some of the many considerations we have for pruning the random forest. Can we obtain the global optimal pruning? Please find our paper and read for more details. Thank you.